So in this video, we're going to be going over binomial, the binomial expansion equation and how it relates to genetics. So the binomial expansion equation represents all of the possibilities for a given set of unordered, unordered events. So the formula is given right here. P is equal to n factorial over x factorial parentheses n minus x parentheses factorial probability of first event happening to the x probability of the other event happening n to the n minus x so p means the probability about uh, that the unordered outcome will occur n is the total number of events x is the number of events in that category that we're trying to figure out and then p is the individual probability of x and q is the individual probability of the other category so when when we're talking about genetics we're usually going to be applying this to punnett squares and pedigrees and trying to understand uh what's the probability of a certain genotype happening uh, a certain phenotype happening uh or certain like you know if it's it involves males and females then uh, how many males have this trait? How many females have this trait? And stuff like that. So an example right here we have is that two heterozygous, two heterozygous brown-eyed individuals have five children. What is the probability that the two, uh, two of the couple's five children will have blue eyes? So unordered. So since it says unordered, we can use the binomial expansion equation. So first, we, what we want to do is calculate. Uh, step one is uh, calculating the the individual probabilities and actually making that monohybrid cross. So let's do that. Heterozygous heterozygote times heterozygote. You get capital B capital B capital B lowercase B lowercase B lowercase B. So what we see here is that there is a three-fourths chance of uh, brown eyes, a one-fourth chance of being blue eyes. So let's write that down. Probability brown, probability blue is one-fourth. Now that we know the, the expected ratios, the second step would be to determine <coughs> total number of events, right? Uh, what I mean by events is how many crosses are there, right? How many children are there? That what uh, They said that in the question, it says that we have five children, right? Five children, right? So the total number of events that are happening are five. Now, the next step would be to de de determine uh, how many of those five do we want to have blue eyes, right? And uh, the question says, you want two out of five, right? Two of the five uh, children should have blue eyes. So, two right so we want two of the offspring to have blue eyes so total number of events corresponds with n a uh, number of event in one category corresponds with x now all we have to do is just uh, dis uh, actually put it into the binomial expansion equation since now we have n and x so it's going to be the probability let's write out the uh, equation binomial expansion equation n factorial over x factorial n minus x factorial px q n minus x so probability is equal to 5 factorial over x is going to be 2 factorial n is 5 x is 2 factorial and when we come get to this part now uh when we get to this part now uh 
the Punnett square ratios are going to come into play, right? We know that 3 fourth is going to be brown, 1 fourth is going to be blue. But we're looking for uh, the probability of blue happening, right? So in this case, P would be uh, uh, telling us the probability of uh, blue eyes happening. Q is the probability of brown eyes happening. So it's 1 fourth x is going to be 2 right q is 3 fourths and then n minus x is going to be 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 and when we calculate this out we get and we get the probability uh so when we're calculating this, we get 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 over 16 and 3 fourth and this is basically 3. So 3 fourth to the power of 3 is... 27 over 64, right? And this total probability is equal to 0 0.26. And if you just multiply this by 100, we get a percentage, which is 26%. So 26% of the time, right? 26% of the time, this heterozygous couple, this heterozygous couple, will uh have two children uh two out of five children will have blue eyes so 26 percent of the time that, that that's what's gonna happen now for another example uh, uh say if six six babies are born in a green given hospital on the same day what is the probability that so there's three parts first part says that uh what's the probability that two will be boys Two will be boys and four will be girls. So we use the, the formula again, right? Use the formula. We know that N is six, right? Since it's given, six, to six total babies are born. N is six. X is equal to... X is equal to two, right? Since we want to determine uh, how it, like what's the probability of two being boys. We could have done it the other way around too, but let's just uh, go with the smaller number. So x is equal to 2. Then we want to determine, uh, well, what is uh, what is p? p is what we're trying to find, right? p is going to be the probability of there being a boy, a male, which is one half, right? There's a one half chance of, of, of being a boy. Then Q is also one half. What since is one half chance of being female. Now since we have all the components, we can plug this into the formula. So probability is equal to six factorial over two factorial. Six minus two factorial. One half squared, right? One half to the x, and one half uh, six minus two. And when we do this, we get so this entire thing is simply when you calculate it out, it's simply equal to fifteen times one fourth. This right here is the calculation of q is equal to uh 1 over 16 since this is one half to the fourth and our total probability is 15 out of 64 so that's our probability which is roughly This is roughly uh, 20, 
23%. <coughs> so 23% of the time, uh, two, bo two will be boys and four will be girls if there are six total babies are born. Then the next question is ask, uh, what if one is a boy and five will be girls? So in this case, n is equal to six, x is equal to one, p is equal to one half, q is equal to one half, right? Now when we plug this in to the formula, we get six factorial over one factorial, uh, six minus one, factorial one half to the one one half six minus one um, when we calculate this out this right here is simply six That's simply six, then times one half, which is the uh, calculation of P. Calculation of Q is just one half to the fifth. That's gonna give us one over 32. Then we get six over 64. This can be simplified to three over 32. And this is roughly nine point three eight percent right so nine point three eight percent of the time one will be a boy and five will be girls if there are six total babies born now this last question is asking uh what if three are boys and three are girls right so this question can be done two ways it could i you gotta use the the binomial expansion equation or you could do uh you could uh, uh, do a small Punnett square, a small Punnett square. But let's, since we're on the topic of binomial expansion, let's use the binomial expansion. So n is equal to six, x is equal to three, p is equal to one half, q is equal to one half. Let me plug this in. p is equal to six factorial over three factorial this is going to be 6 minus 3 factorial, then 1 half times 3, 1 half, 6 minus 3. Now, when we calculate this up, we get 20. We get 20. times one eight times one eight and we get twenty out of sixty four which can be simplified to five over sixteen which is roughly Thirty-one percent. So thirty-one percent of the time, the uh, thirty-one percent of the time, there's gonna be three boys and three girls if uh, six babies are born.